Tony Don Chow, good morning. Late morning, overcast, damn sight cooler, but let's get on with the show. I've just uh, developed the knowledge of how to uh, learn my coconut chopping skills without losing any of these digits, right? So without further ado, on with the show. Okay, we're gonna start with this one. And ah, okay, now these coconuts are not ordinary coconuts. Um, they come from one province. I don't know, I can't remember the name of it now, but it's, it takes about two days for them to, to be delivered up into Surin, the province where we are. And they're only found in this area, but everybody, but everybody prefers these with every other style of coconut in Thailand. And they go to make uh, coconut iced drinks for customers at my uh, partner's coffee shop, right? So without further ado, here we go. Now I'm going to remove said nuts. There we go. One, two, three. Right, let's get this right. There's one. Let's put him over here. There's to the one. There you go. Now, this is where the arty farty stuff comes in, right? When I first tried it, I made the mistake of trying to get down to the coconut shell inside, be it a top bit. But the coconut is amazingly small considering the size of this one. Uh, and an elderly lady, elderly, I'm 70, uh, gave me a few hints and tips. You go to the bum. Right, sorry Mr. Elephant, but uh, anyway, on with the show. So we start very, very gingerly, chipping away. And you make a sort of pyramid shape. So when you do find out where the shell is all you need to see is the tip of it because you don't want to break open the shell and lose a lot of water it's you'll see what i mean you've got to try and just make a small area to remove get the juice out all right we're getting there let's clear this bit okay now a bit more Could be going a bit too deep. Yeah, I've gone too deep. Wait, wait, one moment. Let's try and get the juice out first into the jar. I'll, I'll have to remove this a little bit more. I'll have to try and keep it upright because the juice is the most important thing for the uh, iced drinks. Okay, said jar. Let's see if we can remove all the water in this condition. I'll try and do the next one better. There you go, see? Oh, it smells yummy. Okay, put the jar down. Now we can remove the... Now, what... It what it should be like is get into the shell near the tip of it so you've only got a small piece, piece to cut off and not lose any juice we, we've lost a bit of juice it doesn't matter now put him down there for a second gonna cut the main 
top end off. So I can set him in an upwards position, like so. And being a left-hander, I can never get this thing down the center in one shot. Right, so I'm gonna see what happens. <laughs> Every time I swing to the left. So I'm gonna remove that. And have another shot. Like so. Now, now this is a a wacky little ingenious tool. Beer bottle opener, right? It not only opens beers, but you can use it as a grater. See the teeth on that? Clever stuff, eh? These ties. And we're going to try and scrape. Get in there. Ah, that's better, that's better. A little bit more force. God, no wonder the women are good at doing this. If you get my drift. Typical scouser. Oh, we've got to throw a few little puns in. Right, there you go, that's where you can see. See that? There you go. I'll just do the same again. You should see them the drinks that she's selling at the moment. They're selling like hotcakes in a She's got a mocha and other brands of coffee, but it's made on iced drinks. You know, they they uh, they love it iced. So we'll scrape it up. Okay, that actually looks like it's going to rain. Okay, nearly there. We've got the other little segment down there. Well, you can see the size of the, the small coconut inside and the size of the exterior, right? Uh, a lot smaller than the average coconuts. Let's just get a bit more off the edge. Every bit matters. Okay. And anybody still there? <laughs> because I could chop my fingers off, you know. It's weird to watch that. I've already lost the use of one from that knuckle upwards. Can't bend it. Rip the tendon out years ago in a street factory through a machine which I got handsomely compensated for back in the very early 70s Southport England Holland's Toffee world famous at the time don't know whether they still exist on with this show with this one scrape scrape yep god that's tough Apparently, the people that sell these, they do say that the older the coconut gets after it drops off the tree, the tougher the uh, meat inside, the coconut uh, bits. Come on, come on, come on. Are you there? Are you there? Okay. 
What a bloody mess. <laughs> Let's hope I can do this one with ease like I was doing for my partner this morning. I chopped up five for her and she's selling them down the road, which I'll do a vlog on soon. It's called Bumblebee Coffee Shop. Okay, let's get the number two. There you go. Head for the bump. Give it another little Good job I don't listen to Nick Cave albums anymore. Okie dokie. Let's see if we can do this a bit better. Yeah, but I can just, if you just see that, that's the first sign you're hit, hitting the shell inside. So I'm going to go, I'll just take a bit off this edge. And I'll go for a chop down there. I've got to be careful because there's... Yeah, here we go, here we go. Beautiful. That's how it should be done. You leave a, a segment of the coconut preventing the juice drip dripping out because every single drop matters. And you can see there, so that comes off and we'll use that coconut later. The old beer bottle top. And we'll remove that, watch, there we go. Just. I'll try this end first. Just remove this piece. A tiny little knife will be better. I'll try and get lower. There you go. We're right on the juice. It doesn't matter if it drops inside because I'll scrape it out later. See the juice? There you go. Okay. On with the show. Rodeo. Whoa! There you go, Lee. Yeah. Okay. Now, give myself a flat base. The coup de gras. Whoop! <laughs> With a okay, swing to the left. See, I can never get the center. Never. I've tried dozens of dozens of times. Put that on there. The old shot again. Well, bah, blow me. That one down the center. That's the first, that's the first for me for doing that. So what I'll do, put that down. That was the little top piece. The old scraper, I'll do it like this. Every little bit counts. Kidoki. Actually, the scraper that my partner's got is rather better than this beer bottle type. type. I 
hope this is still in view. I think it is. Let's get some more. By the way, we're almost out. Well, we're up, yeah, at the back end of the monsoon season here. And we're preparing for the hot season. Rolling on in a month or so. Or the weather improving, to say the least. And people go loco, loco over these coffee style mocha iced drinks, which I'll do a vlog on at my partner's uh, kiosk called the Bumblebee Coffee Shop, right? So, but this, the actual coconut meat itself goes into a blender and it's pulver sort of pulverized. Um, but you'll see when I get to the kiosk and do a vlog on that. Well, she's doing quite well at the moment. She's only just started this business too, so she's building up a good customer base. And I've actually been able to deliver locally orders. And they rather get a kick out of a farang, like a, a westerner, being a servant on their behalf. Instead of the other way around, there's a bit of meat. Okay, one more, we're almost at the end of the show. Oh, incidentally, this elephant underneath here, God knows how old it is, this uh, block wood carving. We've got two of them, and I found them in an abandoned spa resort, which is just over the back here, with several, uh, buildings I'm going to nip into and do vlogs on later because the guy who owned the resort went bust through gambling in the casinos. We don't have casinos in Thailand, only uh, on the borders of uh, Laos and uh, Cambodia, right? So they go across the border and they're right on the, literally on the other side of the gate, 